What up, everybody? Raw review right now. And, uh, hold on one second. I just look at some on Twitter here. It's, uh, Taylor of this here, dudes. Found it on Twitter. Freaking awesome here. Look at this. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Morning. Just two dudes hanging out with their titles. Yeah. The ROH World Champion Adam Cole and the WWE Universe Champion Kevin Owens, who looks grumpy. I don't know why he looks grumpy, but <laughs> on to the uh, raw review. Um, that's just a little off topic. I was just scrolling Twitter when I saw that. Good lord. <laughs> but um, on to the raw review. It was. Oh, that's right. That's what it was. Snoring fast. That's what it was here, ladies and gentlemen. Raw was terrible. Terrible, terrible, terrible. Oh, God. Uh, um, let's get this over with. It kicked off with, uh, the, the women coming out. Uh, Mick Foley, uh, opening the show, so. Um. Um. I, I don't care. I love Sasha. I love Bailey. I love Charlotte, kind of. But, um, this segment was boring. I mean, I... And Bailey's in the semi. You shouldn't be boring when Bailey's out there. I mean, this segment was boring. Uh, they talked about um, who needs to be, uh, how Sasha uh, pinned the women's champion last week, and uh, how she's gonna come after the title. Oh wait, wait, she didn't pin her. She wait, wait. Bailey pinned her last week. Yeah, I think Bailey did. Whatever, whatever. Continue. Let me continue here before I get out of track here. Um, see, it was so. This Rob was so stupid. I can't even remember. I got the results up here. And I, I don't even care about looking at them. Seriously. That's how bad it was. Come on. Screw it. I'm just going to talk about what happened. I'm not going to talk about the segment. I'm going to talk about what the match. Um, the match was uh, set up. Dana Brooke versus Sasha Banks versus Bayley. And the winner would become number one contender for the uh, Women's Championship. As we know, Sasha Banks has already uh, invoked her rematch clause last week. But this week, um, you know, um, since I think, yeah, I think it was Bayley who been the Women's Champion last week. Yes, yes, Bailey pinned her last. Since Bailey pinned her last week, she thinks she's deserving of a contender spot. Sasha, you know, thinks that, you know, since she lost title, she should get the rematch. And Dana Brooke sticking her nose in where it doesn't belong. She slapped Charlotte for Pete's sake. Before the match even began, she slapped Charlotte. Or hit her from behind, I don't know. She thinks she slapped her. But, uh, yeah, that was the match. Bailey versus Sasha versus Dana Brooke become the number one contender for the WWE Women's Championship. It was a pretty good match. Uh, I enjoyed a little bit of it. Um, back and forth. Dana Brooke was boring as usual. Uh, Charlotte was on commentary. Um, I thought Bailey almost went with the Bailey to Bailey, uh, but um, Sasha broke it up. And uh, there was a like a sequence where they were on the top rope. I think it was Sasha or Bailey who's gonna. Do, one of them was about to end up in a superplex with Dana Brooke. I think yeah, so one of them was in that. And uh, I think uh, Charlotte, or, no Sasha came in. Yeah, in uh, no. Which I, was like, I think Dana had Bay Bailey on the top rope, and they did a triple superplex. That was pretty neat to see. Um, Sasha was out there most of the match on the outside, most of it. Uh, the finish came when uh, Bailey um, broke up the bank statement uh, that Sasha and Dana Brooke and uh, hit the Bailey to Bailey. Sasha got over and I think pinned both of them, from what I saw. Double pin and, uh, you know. Um, Sasha is going to go on to face uh, Charlotte for the NXT, for the Women's Championship. I almost said the NXT Women's Championship. See what I mean? That's how stupid this Raw was last night. I didn't even care. This was actually the first Raw. I'm not joking here. I'm legit serious about this. This was the very first Raw I almost fell asleep at. I'm not joking. I was busy on my PS4 almost from the main event and through most of the parts of the show. The main event, I'll get to in a minute. That was pretty, that was pretty cool to watch. I didn't watch that much of it, but I watched until the end of it. Up next, Bo Dallas... For some stupid reason with this aggressive attitude again. I don't get it. I don't really get it. I don't care. I actually tweeted out. There must be the effects from the airport thing. that The airport incident he had when he was intoxicated. Slurring his words. Um, but yeah. Um, Bo Dallas defeated this jobber. Named uh, Brandon Scott. Didn't care. Bo Dallas squashed him. And did his usual stick. Went back to smiling after. <laughs> God. Give me a break. I'm not going to take him seriously. Screw it. Up next, I think uh, Jericho was backstage, Kevin Owens is backstage uh, talking about, 
I can't remember. I really can't remember about this show. It was freaking stupid. I hate it. Screw it. The highlight reel was next. Sami Zayn was the guest. Uh, Jericho, before he had a promo. Um, Frilly was on the floor doing, uh, literally on the ground, on his stomach doing a promo. It was freaking hilarious. Like, uh, Sami Zayn is, like, way down here. You know how he's called the under, the underdog from the underground? Jericho got in, you know, taunting him because of that. And, uh, oh my lord. This, I'm just reading the results right here. Give me a break. Why are they even reviewing this? I, mean, I don't even know what I'm talking about here. God. But, um, let's just say it ended with the phone to the face to Sami Zayn, then Jericho hit the code breaker. Uh, then after that, a match was scheduled between those two at Clash of Champions. Um, whatever. An interesting segment. I didn't mind it. It was alright to watch. Up next, Cesaro defeated Sheamus. I didn't watch this match at all, so I'm going to skip it. I mean, I understand I had some people like, oh, oh, they're going to advance and they become number contender for the WWE Universal Championship, or that's what Mick Foley said a few months, weeks ago, whatever. But, uh, yeah, I, I just don't care. I'm getting kind of bored of these series, and, you know, I know it's Cesaro, but Sheamus is boring. This this feud is boring. I'm sorry. I just can't take it anymore. So I'm, I just skip these matches whenever I have the chance. I just listen to my music. I did watch the match a tiny bit, but then I just turned it off. I just went to something else. And I didn't really care for the match. Cesaro got the win. And uh, I think he used the ropes. Let me see what the result is. Oh, yeah. He hit a roll up. And he used the ropes for extra le le leverage. Okay, great. Whatever. And Cesaro got the win. It's 3-2-2 two, two now. Good. Congratulations. Up next, Alicia Fox versus um, Nia Jax. This was a freaking dominating match from Nia Jax, of course. And I'm keeping wondering who's going to defeat her. Who's going to be the one to defeat her? Same with Braun Strowman. Who's going to defeat him? <laughs> I think we all know who's going to, who it's going to be. <sighs> Braun Strowman wasn't on the show. Thank God. But yeah, this match was freaking... After that little blowout from Alicia Fox last week, which is hilarious. I think she legitimately hit Sash, um, hit uh, Dana Brooke in the face. Yeah, I God! God, I can't get control of myself. <laughs> Jesus. Um, she hit Nia Jax. In the face, I I think he, some kind of tissue box or whatever. I don't know what that was, but she, as that little blood she had last week was, which was hilarious. Um, but yeah, this was a dominating match from um, Nia Jax. Um, uh, went outside of the ring uh, and then uh, ended with Nia Jax spearing, yes, spearing Alicia Fox to the barricade. Uh, ref stopped the match, and that was it. Uh, yeah, doctors attended to, uh, well, referees attended to, uh, Alicia Fox, and that was it. The end of that segment. Okay, the club, oh, I'm sorry, Luke Gallows and Carl Anderson, versus, uh, The New Day? What the heck? This was a freaking tag team match, you freaking kinda gave away the, the, uh, match next week for Clash of Champions, so what the heck is this about? Come on, WWE logic here, folks, give me a break here, come on. The New Day um, came out and said they burned, yeah, I think they burned the uh, footage of the Old Day segment from last week. I kind of liked that segment. It was kind of funny. Just a little bit. Wasn't that, like, rib funny? I mean, rib tickling funny? But come on, man. It was, it was decent. I mean, it was decent, okay? But yeah, um, sorry if I'm going all over the place, but I'm just tired. I didn't really care for this Raw. I fell asleep during most of as I said, and yeah, that's about it. So, um, I had back to this match. Uh, you know, it was back and forth. I didn't care. Uh, Gals and Anderson went with the Magic Killer. Didn't care. Up next, for some stupid reason. Stupid, stupid. I turned off the match right here. The next match. Get ready, folks. Get ready here. Listen to what I'm about to say. Ginger Mahal versus Jack Swagger. Let me repeat myself one more time. Ginger Mahal, who is at peace with himself for some reason. I don't know why. He just came out and said he was at peace. Screw that. Versus... Jack Swagger. Why? Tell me why, Vince. Oh, yeah, Vince wasn't even there last night. What am I talking about? Why? Whoever put this. Why? Were you bored backstage? Were you stupid? Or are you both? This match was stupid. Boring. I didn't even watch it. Next thing. Epico defeated Enzo. The heck? There was, a, there was some good segments between the... Wait, scratch, screw it. I don't care. Shining stars are... Yeah, whatever. They're whatever. I don't care for them. Enzo and Cass are awesome, as always. Love, my, love Enzo and Cass. Um, Enzo, I think... 
Where is the problem with ACAT? Where the fridge is it? A couple of haters? You got a couple of haters? You got a couple of haters? Couple of haters? Couple, 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 couple of haters? <laughs> no, 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 no. And they, I actually wrote on Twitter when he said, How you doing? I actually said, I'm bored. Seriously. But yeah, screw it. Uh, the Shining, uh, I think Epico got the win because of uh, Primo held his foot under the ropes or on the ropes for Lee Rich, and the Epico got the win. Second win from the Shining Stars over the over Enzo and Cass. Yay, no one cares. You know, I don't mind Enzo and Cass losing a match. I'm not going to flip out about it. I did last week because I didn't get it, but now I can, I'm getting it. I'm not going to talk about the backstage check. Well, there's one backstage check I'm going to talk about. Um, Seth Rollins, you know, he was there, of course. Uh, he was backstage with Mick Foley, and he thinks, and he says he knows that, you know, Mick Foley is technically just a puppet to Steph McMahon, which is what he technically is, you know. He's buying into this crap. I mean, we're not, are we still going to buy that Stephen Mann does not know what's going on? I mean, seriously. We all know what's going on with Triple H. Seriously. He threw Seth Rollins out of the authority. It doesn't exist anymore. Give me a break. Um, you know, he's having Kevin Owens back him up. You know, we all know where this is going. She, Stephanie, Stephanie is saying, oh, I don't know anything about tri what Triple H did last week. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. You do know what's going on. Stop trying to play innocent. I know what you're doing. Seriously. It's getting stupid. Come on. We know what's going on here, Stephanie. We know. Okay. And then, um, uh, Seth says he's going to interfere in the match. Mick Foley freaking blew up and said, you know, he can make fun of my hair, he can make fun of my beard, he can make fun of my city, he can make fun of how I run, run raw. But he says, you don't ever, like, question my authority or anything like that or but something like that. And he says if Seth Rollins interferes, there will be repercussions and um, severe consequences, whatever. What do you be afraid of Mick Foley? Very afraid. Be very afraid of McFoley. <laughs> Seriously. Um, so yeah, that was the end of that segment. That was the only segment I really cared about. Uh, not even Enzo and Cass can make me laugh. That's very really rare. Not even the New Day can make me laugh. Seriously. I don't get it. it these Raws are just getting boring. Seriously. What's going on here? Seriously. It's just getting boring to me. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm not into this stuff like I used to. I mean, I've been watching this crap for like 10 years. Seriously. And... I don't know. It's just been going downhill. Smackdown, on the other hand, tonight, I'm looking forward to. So, um, they think y'all know why. So, um, and next week, of course, because Smackdown's going to be in my hometown next week. So, yeah. Freaking awesome. Uh, on to the main event, Roman Reigns versus Kevin Owens. If Kevin Owens, uh, excuse me, if uh, Roman Reigns got the win, uh, he would be in a certain to the WWE Universal Championship match, making a triple threat match between him, him, Kevin Owens, and Seth Rollins. Yay, what do you do? This match was awesome here. I'm not jo no, no, I'm not joking here. I I'm legitimately serious about this. This was actually a pretty good match from what I saw. Okay, I saw about the ending of the match, around the ending of that. It was like kickouts, near falls, everywhere in this match. I'm not joking. This match had me on my feet. Had me on the edge of my seat. I'm not joking here. I didn't mean to rhyme there, seriously. <laughs> but I'm not joking here. I'm a Roman Reigns. Eh, you can call me a hater or whatever, but I just don't really care for the guy. I mean, when he's in the ring with these indie guys, well, n no offense to you people out there. I, I love, love the high flyers myself. But, um, I, and I, I know Kevin Owens isn't a high flyer, but yeah, that's yeah, great. I'll just call them indie guys. <laughs> yeah, what's, what's, what's with these guys and indie guys? And there were John Cena, Roman Reigns, or people like that. What's it with that? What's in it? What's what is it with them and those people? I mean, and there were those guys. Wait, but when you remember a match like with John Cena, Randy Orton, it's boring. Randy Orton versus like well, I don't know, Sheamus is boring, or uh, uh, Batista versus John Cena, boring. But when they get in with these guys, the indie guys, you know, seriously, it's awesome. Like John Cena and AJ Styles, which is not over. It's not going to be over yet. But um, not yet. But um. But what? it's just different. It feels different. It feels awesome. Yeah, Cena and Styles have been having the feud of the year, in my opinion. It's been good. I've enjoyed Cena versus Styles. And I don't want it to end. Not yet. I, I kind of don't I kinda don't want it to end, because I'm afraid. I think I'm afraid about the outcome of the match will be. But I see it coming, so that's SmackDown, and I'll talk about Raw. Um, uh, it was a back-and-forth match. We'll talk about the match I'm talking about right now, the main event. It was a back-and-forth match, uh... I think, I think, I can't, I came in, I was playing PS4 a little bit, um, for like a few minutes, and I came back, and Seth Rollins, I guess, attacked, uh, Kevin Owens, uh, Mick Fuller came out and said, you know, what he said backstage, there's gonna be consequences for you, you know, saw Finley out there, pretty cool, 
Uh, family, um, there's a little goon separates Seth Rollins and the general manager, and uh, Mick Foley says he's going to have a conversation backstage. They're going to talk. A very serious talk, apparently, because Mick Foley was pissed. <laughs> but, um, um, I think uh, Roman Reigns, you know, came back to life, I guess, and hit the Superman punch. Uh, I thought he had him right there. I freaking, he hit a near, I mean, Kevin Owens kicked out a near fall. I was like, thank God. I almost got freaking uh, very, 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 very worried that Roman was going to enter it. But I got it all right. You know, Rusev came out. As expected, Rusev came out. Roman hit Superman punch. That distracted him enough. And Owens hit the pop-up powerbomb for the win. And after the match, um, Rusev tapped Roman Reigns, kicked him like two times in the face, put him in the accolade, and passed, had him passed out. And Roman passed out. So the Raw ended with Rusev standing tall over the big dog, uh, Roman Reigns. So, um... I don't know. Raw this week was... <sighs> That's what it was. I'm not joking here. I'm serious. It was... It was... Okay, I don't want to... I don't want to hate on it that much, but it was, just, it was just that. I'm not joking here. I legitimately almost fell asleep during the show, and that is very rare, because I always stay up for every single freaking week. You know, it's just... This show was just boring. I don't even want to talk about the, um... A few months ago with the, uh... The Fourth uh, of July one. Don't even talk about that one. <laughs> Cringy. Cringy. Um, but yeah, that's Raw in a nutshell. All right. There's nothing else to talk about for real. SmackDown is going to be awesome. I'm really hoping SmackDown is going to be awesome now. we got the new WWE Champion AJ Styles. The new WWE Women's Champion. SmackDown Women's Champion. As I, let me correct myself. Becky Lynch. And we got new WWE SmackDown Tag Team Champions and Heath Slater and Rhino. So this show is, should be good. Should be good night. And I read somewhere, yo, on WWE's fan, WWE.com, that Heath Slayer's going to sign this contract tonight. whoop de doo Congratulations. Maybe he'll finally get over with me. But, you know, I just went like, with Ronda. was, okay, I didn't, I really mind it. I didn't really mind it. It's pretty good. But, um, yeah, it's freaking, um, Raw in a nutshell. And a little bit of SmackDown shtick right there. So, yeah, I'm going to get out of here. I'm close to 100 subscribers. I got 91. And if you more left here, dudes, and we'll get to 100. Don't you worry. And, uh, yeah, I love doing this for all of y'all. I love what I appreciate what I do. Love making y'all, love entertaining every single one of y'all. And I thank all of you for watching all my stuff on here. And, uh, yeah, I originally didn't really want to do professional wrestling. I originally just wanted to be like a, um, just like an everyday life kind of guy, like vlogs or something like that, you know. Something like that, but I just had re professional wrestling. Actually, I, um, I will be starting to do, like, vlogs and stuff like that. But, yeah, I'm just going to be starting sticking mostly professional wrestling. You know, it's just my passion, all that good stuff, you know. I've been doing this stuff for about 10 years now, so it's pretty good. And, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, so that's about it, man. Uh, shout out to my boy, Ryster Ryan, who has pretty much been one of my go-to guys on here. Uh, one, of, one of the special people who have actually been commenting on my every single video I've done. So um, I'd like to give a shout out to him. And I uh, guess a shout out to you at Team Lesnar and... And a shout out to, uh, do, 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 do. who do I want to shout out? And all my Twitter followers on there. Follow me on Twitter. At PrinceBowen19. Follow me there, man. So that's about it. Uh, some little shout outs right there and little other stuff. And I'm going to get out of here and get ready to, I guess, watch TV or do whatever. It's freaking quiet here. I'm all alone by myself. <laughs> uh, so yeah. Uh, I'm going to get out of here. Thanks for watching, man. Hit that subscribe button down below. Uh, like button, and, uh, yeah, comment if you want to, and, uh, yeah, that's about it. See you tonight for SmackDown Live and the new WWE World Champion. Screw it. I'm gonna call it the W, let me try this again. The new WWE Champion, AJ Styles. Didn't think I'd be saying that. I can't believe it. I still can't believe it. Uh, but, yeah, thank you also, Vince McMahon. Even though you're freaking having surgery today from a little incident you have in, in the gym, I guess. That's, that's kind of funny. I hate saying that. That's kind of funny. But, uh, yeah, thank you, Vincent Man, for actually putting AJ Styles, the WWE Championship, on AJ Styles. I really, really appreciate that. I've been waiting for this moment for, like, forever. You know, I saw it on my uh, reactions to uh, Backlash. I said it here. I said it on Backlash. Thank you. Thank you. Just thank you. So, yeah. Peace out, dudes. Have a good day, everybody. See you tonight for SmackDown Live.